who send money with call me names they would throw themselves up against the locker they were really afraid of me when ryan white moved to cicero and began classes here he found more tolerance less fear by then the people here knew more about ryan and about his disease many of them were determined not to repeat kokomo's mistakes we just made ryan comfortable and um we made it seem you know like he was just a normal just like anyone else students at hamilton heights high had time to learn about aids before ryan's arrival we were all scared here too but then the education that we got it just calmed everything down but what did they learn back in kokomo would a student with aids be treated any better there now there'd be a problem i'm sure there'd be those people that that still wouldn't accept it. I don't think there would be any problem whatsoever. I really don't. I think now people are much more educated. In the end, Ryan White, the sick school kid, became their teacher, giving Kokomo and Cicero and the country lasting lessons about compassion, courage, and AIDS. Chris Bury, ABC News, Cicero, Indiana. Ryan White, the Indiana teenager who gained widespread celebrity support from Hollywood in his fight against AIDS, died yesterday in an Indianapolis hospital. He was 18 years old. This one's for Ryan. Elton John dedicated a song to him at Farm Aid 4, while Donald Trump and Michael Jackson visited his mother yesterday and consoled her. Hollywood loved Ryan White. Celebrities were honored to appear with him at events supporting AIDS research. The brave young man who battled that dread disease and the infectious prejudice surrounding it inspired stars around the world. Seems to me. His story was turned into a TV movie on which he worked as a technical advisor. Lucas Haas played White, while Ryan himself played another AIDS victim in one scene. Nobody knows what it feels like to be all alone. What everyone will remember most about Ryan White was his courageous fighting spirit. You know, there are a lot of people out there that are a lot worse. That, and, you know, I don't want to be pitied or anything. I just, you know, because I'm fighting this all the way. Funeral services for Ryan will be held on Wednesday. Indiana Governor Evan Bayh has ordered the flags throughout the state to be flown at half-staff in Ryan's honor. Veteran rock star Elton John, who spent hours at Ryan White's bedside in Indianapolis, spent part of his weekend in support of yet another cause, Aid to the Farmers. It was one of several charity shows across the country.